Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be making teacher appreciation cards. I've already made one up to show you what we're going to be doing. This lovely card is using elements from stamp sets from Maker Forte. It's a flat card, easy to post. Starting with the card, I'm going to use this stamp set here. Each component though as you can see I'm going to be doing in different colours and I will show you how I achieve this look. The sentiment at the bottom is from thanks for helping me grow and it's a, it's actually a long sentiment great for a slimline card but I'm cutting it there so that I can fit it onto my card base. So we're going to start off we need some white stamping card perfect blending card here we go and my misty i've already lined my stamp up in my misty so i'm all set to go place my cardstock in there at this point i decide that i need to trim the cardstock down a little bit because i want a mat on my card so i just take a minute just to make sure that i've got that stamp still lined up in the center. Now to achieve the different colors we're going to start with the apple and use British Racing Green ink but I don't want any of this inking so in order to achieve that we're going to use some masking tape and I'm going to cover up the other stamps so that the ink doesn't get on them make sure that they're all covered because I'm quite heavy handed with my inks and I don't want to get any smudges. Now just to cover the L up and then we can ink up that apple making sure that it's all clear of the tape. Nice inking. One thing you've got to remember take your tape off before you take your stamp to the paper. I have made this mistake numerous times and ended up with an inky mess around the stamp that I was stamping. So my card's not quite central so I'm just going to move it over slightly and there we go we're going to use the ink smusher to smush that down so we get a nice crisp image. And as you can see, this apple says teach on it. Isn't it cute? So, cleaning up my stamp now, that is important as well. Because if you've slightly moved your card, you don't want to double stamp that image and have to start again. So I'm using the Maker Forte cleaning cloth. Just give it a good wiping off. It's all nice and clean. Yeah, and I got it on my hands as well. No residue left on there, so now we can move on to the next part. Next I'm going to do the L and the E. So I'm going to do them in Eclipse Black Ink, which is this one. This is great for alcohol markers, but it's also great for getting good impressions, nice and crisp. So again, masking off areas of the stamp, making sure that they're all covered up because I don't want to get transfer of ink. I'm a bit fiddly colouring them crayons around the E because they're quite close to it. Oh, needs must. That's my crayons coloured. I just need to cover my apple now. You do use lots of tape doing this. You can do it with post-it notes but I find that they don't stay in place that well. So I prefer to use tape. There we go. Now to ink up the L and the E. Get a nice crisp impression of them. Again, I'm just explaining the ink is also suitable for alcohol marker, which is what I also use it for. 
Okay, so there's the L and there's the E. Nicely stamped, nicely inked up. I'm just going to remove my tape before I forget. I just tend to put this to one side and then throw it all the way together, stack it all up. And then once the ink's dried, it's easier to ball it up and throw it away. So there we've got a nice impression. It looks like we've smudged the E, but we haven't. It's stamped deep enough to not pick up the ink that's around it. And then we'll just clean these off. Again, making sure there's no ink residue because we don't want any smudges. Dry it off with my hands. And now we're going to do the crayons. We're going to start with a Vegas strip and do the blue crayon. Nice, pretty blue, this. So tedious, I know, but we need to mask off all the other areas so that we just have the crayon showing. I buy this masking tape from Walmart. I think it's quite pretty. You don't have to have plain boring masking tape. I'm just going to cover that bit of the apple because there's plenty of tape around there so that I won't catch the rest of it. Some nice layers of ink on there. Take off the tape. You wouldn't believe the amount of times that I have forgotten to remove the tape when I've been doing this technique. I messed up over and over again. I was just careful putting that down to make sure that it was in the right place. Now lift it up. And look. I have green ink on my finger and I've got green smudges. And my finger's a bit of a wipe. We'll deal with them at a late time. So finally we've just got the other crayon to do. So I'm gonna mask off around it. Making sure that I cover the bottom of that first crayon because they are quite close together, forming the V. I'll just put one piece across the top. And then Red Leicester is the ink that I'm going to be using for this. It's a nice bright orangey colour. Like Red Leicester cheese. Some of my friends in the UK will uh, know what that is. Again, ink on my fingers. It's inevitable when you're using so many different colours. Stamp it in. And I didn't get as quite as close to that blue one as I thought with the masking tape. I've got a tiny bit on there, but it doesn't show too much. So that's that part of my card done. Now, if you do get smudges on your card, you can remove some of it with one of these sand erasers. It doesn't remove all of it, but it makes it less visible. As you can see there. You'll have to excuse the dogs are in the background. They're tussling about at the minute, so you may hear them over my voice. That one didn't, it was a bit too dark for me to rub off, but it's got most of it away. And it doesn't damage your card either. So that's my first part completed. And now we're going to move on to my sentiment. Like I said earlier, there's plenty of sentiments here. Even if you're not making teacher cards, there's a thank you on there. 
and this one thank you for being an amazing teacher is what I'm using so again I've lined this up in a misty yes I have a couple of misties makes it so much easier and there you can see the stamp so I'm just going to place my cardstock in I needed to get that centered because I trimmed my card down I think I move it over just slightly but then decide no nope, it was in the right place to start with so I'm going back to the Eclipse black ink for this again nice crisp ink for doing sentiments you can also if you're quick you can actually heat emboss over this if you wanted to put clear embossing powder on it um, because it stays wet for slightly longer than the coloured inks do smush that down I get a nice crisp image there you go that's my top done So, had the ink smudges been in different places I could have probably covered them up with some little gems but hey ho I'm using top folding A2 card bases these come pre-scored for you just fold them and score the top to make sure you've got a crisp line there I'm also going to be using some green cardstock just as a mat on either side I didn't want matting all the way around I just with top fold, folding cards I like to leave it just on either side I think it draws the eye into the image a bit better so I'm applying plenty of glue here I never ever skimp on glue I always make sure there's plenty on there so it stays stuck in place and lining that up onto my card base so that I've got equal spaces either side and it's lined up at the top there we go and I'm using the same wet glue to put my topper on just making sure that there's enough to show a mat on either side the length of it is a little bit long so I decide to chop a tiny sliver off initially think bottom then I think ah no I can get rid of some of that ink smudge at the top if I do it this way but turn it around it's only a tiny little amount that needed to come off at my car base this is where I can often mess up and put it on upside down but looks like I've got it the right way around this time I'm now just slapping some glue on there and like I say plenty I don't mess about with just little bits I make sure that there's lots on there I want my card to stay stuck lining that up there we have it finished card so there's two of them there, one with and one without ink smudges, but they're identical. You can send them to different teachers. Thank you for joining me today.